there's consequences for every action. There's a consequence for you not being able to adapt. There's consequences for you not raising your kids. There's a consequence for you not educating your kids by you letting someone else educate them. Y'all hear all of this stuff about all of the lies that they told in history and y'all continue to let them educate y'all. Y'all get out of school and won't educate yourselves further. Y'all really gonna just take what they gave us and they ain't gave us shit. We're literally scrapping up dirt from the fucking ground compared to how every other race is living right now. As a whole. And nobody can see a larger picture. Y'all can't see our destruction right in front of y'all faces. The Willie Lynch letters. All of uh, it's so much stuff that I can talk about about all of the strategic things that they're doing. The the women that they're showing. The women that they're they're putting up on a pedestal in front of y'all. You know what's so scary? I think that if the black woman is put into real power, not no fucking sellout. I mean, a real queen, a real goddess. That, and fuck all of this other shit that y'all talking about, this election shit. We need to elect people for our culture and community. We need to elect someone. At least someone is trying to step up to the plate. That that in itself shows a form of growth that I feel like most people don't see. You know what? I may not be perfect. He may everybody has skeletons in their closet. Everybody. But at least someone is trying to step up to be a true representative of our people. Cause somebody has to do it. Someone has to fucking do it. Because all of these people are just going along with the fucking program and ain't changing nothing. Nobody's going along. No one's noticing that we're all headed down a path that's going to get everybody fucking killed. This is going to have us not even just this, this mental war that's going on right now. is just a part of it. Y'all can't see that they're really... The, be truthfully honest, most of the people are still in physical slavery. Y'all are really convinced that y'all 9 to 5 ain't no fucking physical slavery? If y'all if y'all really can't get to a point as a whole, and, I, and I'm talking to myself too. I'm talking to myself too. So I don't want nobody to think that I'm just like being an asshole or nothing like that. But it needs to be said. No, if we're not going to actually unite as a people, shut the fuck up. If you're if you're pushing some shit that's going to divide people, shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. But when I see people that's actually going out of their way to unite with people and everybody's ignoring them, those people are the fucking agents. Because everything we're doing right now is just causing further and further division. And they're just playing with y'all ego. They've been playing with. They've been playing with. The Matrix is, itself is designed to broadcast egos. People are being taught to be more egotistical. And now we're starting to get annoying. It's it's is at a point right now where. Me watching how well they're doing this means that no one's going to care about anybody because no one is in their heart chakra. No one's in their heart chakra. Everybody's living in a state of low frequency. And guess what? They're not being maybe being specific, but anybody who operates strictly on the lower dimensions are easy easily accessed by other entities. So y'all wondering why some of these people acting like fucking coons or y'all, they acting like fucking idiots. They're doing shit where you could tell like something's off about you. It's because they're constantly living in their lower self and it's not them no more. It's not even them no more. We're, we play the game 
that was never designed for us to win. And until y'all realize that we're, we're staying in the same situation, a cycle of infinity, of stupidity, then y'all going to just stay in, sw swim in stupidity. Y'all going to just stay in the situation that's never going to let, let us really be free as a whole. If I'm free and my sister's not free, I'm hurt. I want everybody to let go of their ego. And anybody who's willing... Not, let me not say anybody. There are people that are stepping up to the plate to show y'all that they got it. And y'all are really being... Y'all really ignoring the truth so much it's really scary. I'm watching people that came from our situation that go into the situations where they are on the other side. They understand both and y'all are not going to empower them. And it's, and it's really blowing my mind. It's past, it's past money. This situation, this situation right now is really, we're not even getting to the money stage. We're not getting to the financial freedom stage. Because there's so many people that's really take taking the time out to hate on the next person. Y'all know what we could do. Y'all know what we could do if we united for real. No one could ever stop us. It would be like Egypt again. Sometimes I feel like they're making fun of us because they put the Egyptians, the Egyptian pyramid, on the dollar bill, knowing that it was us. They're making fun of who they're telling us. That we are, but they're also telling us, damn, because we know it's y'all, we're going to be y'all. We're going to pretend to be everything that y'all are and make sure y'all look stupid. I'm going to throw it in your fucking face. A larger picture. A larger picture. A larger picture. And I feel like everybody not not really... Being honest. And I feel like the first thing that needs to happen is niggas got to stop capping and stop fucking lying all the fucking time. Y'all got to stop fucking lying. Y'all got to stop fucking lying all the time, bro. Truth truth is my yacht. You know why? Why everything is unbalanced? Because truth is not prevailing anymore. Y'all get lied to by media and accept it. Y'all get lied about the election. Y'all accept it. Y'all get lied to about y'all history. Y'all accept it. Y'all get lied to about religion and y'all accept it. Y'all, your whole life is being based upon lies that you accept that's inside of your subconscious now. So guess what you tell yourself? God, it, it, it happened for a bigger purpose. This was God's will. Y'all really think it's God's will for us to get murdered in the streets? Y'all really think... Y'all really think it's it was God's a uh, 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 plan for for Kanika Jenkins to die, for all of these black leaders that was actually trying to save us to die? Y'all think that was God's bigger purpose? Are y'all really listening to how y'all really believe that Christopher Columbus discovered America? Y'all just gonna accept every lie? Y'all really gonna accept that the food that they're giving us that's GMO? Y'all just gonna accept it. Y'all just gonna accept everything that they do. And I'm sitting up here like, God damn, like, I'm one person. I'm one person. It doesn't matter if I get it. If you do get it, we we it can't be no fuck shit. We need to unite. And I'm 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 more afraid. That if something goes down in the country, it's going to show how real savage we really are. It's going to show the truth that everybody been hiding. Because black people are already killing each other. Even though they're killing us out here, we are killing each other too. And we, cannot, we can't keep making excuses and saying, oh, they're only highlighting black on black crime. No, it's not that. It's one thing for er for everybody to be put it, pitted against us. It's another thing for us to be pitted against ourselves. 
as we keep dividing and hating on each other, they keep coming in. They keep coming in. And clearly they're showing us how stupid we are. And I, I can't handle it. I don't want to go crazy, man. But I can't handle it. I can't handle this fake shit. And I feel like a part of the reason why I may not may not be as big as I want to be, as even as far as the artist, that's because I'm being too real in a world right now that is making money off of everything that's fake. Everything is fake. So I stick out like a fucking sore thumb. That's why I want to give a shout out to Soul Illuminati. Because I'm watching him be authentic and he's he's making it. And I'm proud of you for that. You are a representation of, of what I feel like is only not an alchemical process for you for you to be going on your spiritual journey and you actually changing and becoming malleable, be, being adaptive to, to even the change that you're not aware of and growing. And you actually spreading it. You're spreading real consciousness. You're giving people knowledge to where they don't need to depend on you. That's genuine. Telling people to just go out in nature. I hope that you're living your best life. I, that, that in itself is a representation of, of, of what we need to be telling people. Or what we need to be teaching people. Because all of this other shit ain't getting nowhere. It's not getting us nowhere. Now all of these distractions. From tuning into yourself. Are you really tuned in? Because when somebody tell you to tune in, you're, you're telling them to be tuned in on a frequency. What are you tuned into? Have you even had to, so any time to actually tune into yourself? Because if you, if you can't tune into yourself, every other frequency that you try to get in is still going to be fucked up. Because you, you don't even know how to tune into the thing that you have to exist as every day. You. You, you stopped and really looked in the mirror and really questioned or fathom your existence? Are you really thinking about what are you here for? If you think you're here to work a nine to five, you are asleep. And I just mean it. If you don't feel like you're here and you exist today to find out who you are, to find what what is really inside of you, not this just physical shell. If you're not really searching to find the essence of your soul, to fathom what it means to be who you really are, to know thyself, you are asleep. And the only way that you're going to connect back with yourself is first being truthful and not ignoring the, 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 the whole situation that's going on. To be truthful about how you feel about yourself. To be truthful about how you feel about your family's disconnection. Truth about your, your mentality and what attracts you. They got y'all going on a path that's leading nowhere. And there's, a, there's millions and billions of people that they already trapped with this. And no one's stopping and saying, damn, this river, this flow... This flow, this current ain't ain't going nowhere that's going to help us. They're, de they're destroying the earth right in front of y'all and no one's saying nothing. They're destroying nature. They're going to make it where one day y'all going to wake up and it's going to be the Jetsons. Niggas going to be having to live in the sky because they destroyed the whole earth while y'all sit here and watched or y'all helped. Y'all don't get a large picture. And it's really annoying. I feel like I already made this video too long. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to be back. We're going to be doing the spiritual. Uh, uh, um, the super spiritual um, series. Where we're going to we're gonna tell y'all what the process that we had. That we did. That actually unlocked all the chakras. And we're going to go on further from there. Peace.